how they were saved because it is pretty amazing to watch the rest of the clips are just gonna be really funny clips of people passing out on roller coasters and just getting completely freaked out by them so this is gonna be a really awesome video make sure to watch till the end because if you do you will get a chocolate chip cookie in the mail no scams so make sure to make it to the end get that out of the way let's get into it to ride that took a terrifying turn in texas after a six-year-old seatbelt breaks he slips down his father captures the whole thing on his cell phone abc's lindsay janice is here with the details good morning lindsay Good morning, Lara. This dad says he was filming his son's reaction to the ride so that he could share it with his wife. But what he caught on camera was not what he expected. Watch as Delbert Latham and his son, Kaysen, take a ride on the mousetrap roller coaster at Wonderland Amusement Park in Texas. Dad filming it all. Here we go. But on the first big drop, six-year-old Kaysen plunges to the bottom of the coaster car, yelling, my seatbelt. I got you. It's not, hey, you're fine, I promise, okay? Delbert quickly grabs Kaysen, pulling him up, then holds on tight for the rest of the ride. Watch again as Kaysen disappears from view. Then the look of pure terror on his face. And when Delbert told a park employee about the broken seatbelts... He stated to me that, uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry about that. That's been happening sometimes. That's when it made me more angry, obviously. In a statement, the park telling ABC News it promptly removed the back car from service and ensured all other seat belts were in proper working order. Rides at fixed amusement parks like this one are generally safe, but accidents do happen. Three years ago, Texas grandmother Rosa Esparza slipped out of her roller coaster car at this Six Flags, plunging 75 feet to her death. Her family suing the German maker of the ride and settling out of court. Amusement parks aren't federally regulated, leaving it to individual states, something some safety experts say isn't ideal. The Consumer Product Safety Commission, which currently regulates portable amusement rides, no longer has any jurisdiction over fixed site rides. We're at their mercy. Uh, you could live in a good state or you could live in a bad state for amusement ride safety. As for that father and son whose video has now been viewed more than 150,000 times on Facebook, they say they're just glad the ordeal is over and have no plans.